What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. So we have another 370 video today. We're gonna to be doing some more carbon fiber stuff. As you've probably seen by the title, I have a hood. I'll show you guys that in a minute. But first, I'm actually gonna move this car over here and move this car over here because I'm still waiting on parts for this thing. And to be honest, this thing will probably be done here pretty soon and we'll be driving it. Wow, so that ended up taking like an hour, but the cars are finally moved. We got the 240 chilling over here and I will be working on this soon. It's just a matter of getting everything figured out for it. And you know, it doesn't help when you don't know what you're doing. So anyway, the um, 370 is over here. Like I said, I still haven't got this other door on yet, but mm, that wrap looks so good. We got the carbon that carbon door. I'm actually pretty pumped. I just dropped off the bumpers to get wrapped. So those should be done next week or something like that. And then we'll have front and rear wrap bumpers. And this thing will be done very, very soon, which I'm pretty stoked about. Let me show you guys the hood. Ah! Hi guys, this is my new carbon fiber hood. Let me set it down so you can actually see it. Carbon fiber is the new theme on this channel. And boom, look at this hood. This is a VIS hood. Quality of this thing super, super nice. Obviously it's, obviously, it's got vents. And the cool thing about the vents is on the back side, if I, can, if I can show you this, yeah. There's Allens, you undo these Allens and you can pull this off and then the vents can be open. So this car does get hot, but it is because it has a battery radiator, which we are going to be replacing very soon. So the nice thing about that is that when we're running this thing on a super hot summer day, we can just pop those vents off instead of having to take the hood completely off because these vents are pretty dang fat and a lot of heat will definitely escape through these. So, so I'm pretty pumped about that. And we're gonna go ahead and start by taking off this fender and we're gonna mount up the brand new one over there. That way we can get it all aligned properly because I did have problems aligning the old hood. So hopefully we can get that figured out. And then I do have to drill into this carbon fiber hood so I can get these in there. Only got one shot to drill a carbon hood because if you mess it up, it's done. So yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this front fender off. Wow, that came off easy. Okay, the front fender is off as you guys can tell and I just wanted to show you guys that there's so many new people coming to the channel. This thing's got full wise fab, front, rear, everything. So it's really, really adjustable car suspension wise. It's on Fortune Auto coilovers. So if anyone's looking for a good coilover, definitely go with Fortune Auto. You can't beat them. The adjustability, everything about them is great. Anyway, now that that's all off, this thing looks pretty dope without a fender. We got to put on this brand new fender. And the only reason I'm putting this on right now is just so I can get the hood aligned and body lines decent. Just got this black fender on there. Looks really good. Ah, oh, I didn't realize that was dented. That must've been dented in shipping. Oh well, it's kind of a bummer, but whatever. It's a drift car, you know, that's the saying. I don't know if I've shown you guys how much poke this thing has, but like, look at that. The wheel's pretty much straight right now. Actually, when the wheel's fully straight, it has even more poke, so I don't know what we're gonna do about that because those are the smallest wheels I have that will fit with those brakes. Otherwise, I have like a nine and a half, but that's gonna poke like crazy. So I think we're gonna end up having to go wide body front and rear on this thing, I don't know. I really don't want to because wheel choices is very limited, but who knows? So anyway, gotta grab this hood hinge right here. Last time I put this on, it didn't align very well at all, so we're gonna have to really hope it works this time. Okay, so kind of funny, it's been like 45 minutes, like not even kidding, it's been 45 minutes, and I've been looking at these two hood hinges right here, and somehow I have three driver's side hood hinges, and I've been looking for like 45 minutes at how this is possibly gonna work out, and then I realized, oh, I have a passenger one, and I went and found it, so, that was the biggest waste of time of my life. I feel like an absolute idiot, but now we have the right hinge and I have two other hinges. One's brand new, one's used. So if anyone wants to buy a 370Z hood hinge, hit me up. <laughs> These things are pretty fire.
Well, I'm doing this solo, so this might be kind of hard. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. Okay, well the hood is on here right now. I just need to pop these little guys out, and then once those are out, we can go ahead and drop it down and see how it fits. Hopefully it fits good. Previously, it lined up absolutely horrific. That's why there was only one hinge in. That way I could wiggle the hood left to right to get it to fit, so. I don't know, fingers crossed. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these off real quick and then we'll see where we're at. Okay, well, I took those out and I laid the hood down and uh, yeah, we got a slight problem. As you guys can probably tell, that thing's never gonna shut, ever. Um, so, kind of back to square one. I thought the hood was bent. I thought that old hood was bent, but that definitely was not the problem. I thought maybe the fenders weren't aligned, but that was definitely not the problem. I think I'm gonna run one hinge again. That, or the plan is to get four hood pins. I'll put two back here, two up front. But I don't know, that might not look the best. I'd, I would rather just run one hinge and then those two, but anyway. I need to start this car up, so I think we're gonna start this thing up and pull it out. Cause it hasn't started in months and it needs to warm up. Here we go, time to push this thing outside. Wow, what a pain. This is my first look at this car with the purple and wow. Oh my gosh, look at those doors. Incredible. Fenders look insane, the hood looks insane. Let's see if this thing will start. Super light doors. If I had to guess, she's not gonna start. Yep, battery is dead. Let's grab a jump pack. Got this thing, hopefully it works. Had to get the broom to hold the hood. The nice thing is if this starts, I can actually drive around with the broom right there because it's holding it from the bash bar. Because this thing has no parking brake or anything, so I have to park it at full lock to be able to get out. I know, kind of a pain, but whatever. Oh, I can't get over how good this looks. Come on. I hate drift cars. They never start. Take five. Ooh, almost. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we're just under 12, so. Ooh, come on, baby. All I want in life is a drift car that starts first try, runs great, and you know how to do this every time. Ah, uh, I just missed it. I mean, seriously, after like 25 tries and a jump box and realigning the terminals, I cleaned them. She's on, baby. All right, let's see if we can move this without messing anything up here. This clutch is brutal. I just need to park it at lock. Grab all the tools I don't want to lose because I might I might drive it around the parking lot a little bit. Both the front tires are flat. Look at that. Actually, this one's not bad. Wow, look at that. Leaking some power steering fluid. Can't wait to slam this thing and get rid of this. Oh, the uh, throw bearing is making a uh, pretty clapped out noise. Like it needs a new one but I don't want to put a new one in it because screw that, you know? Let's go drive it around and see how it feels. Oh my gosh, this clutch is brutal. Hopefully you guys can hear that diff because that is seriously like one of my favorite parts about this car because it sounds straight cut. It sounds insane. It's a, it's a solid diff. Listen to that. So sick. Well, everything sounds healthy, which is good. No weird noises, no weird leaks besides fire steering. Okay, we got a little heat in her, so now we can rev her up a little bit. You guys can hear what this thing sounds like. Sounds pretty good, pretty clean for a 370. You know, VQs are not my favorite sounding cars in the world, but I think it sounds pretty good. 
Don't ask me what the exhaust setup is because I literally have no idea. I know for sure a muffler delete, but I don't know what else. But otherwise, yeah, it sounds pretty fire. And I'm really missing the police seam already. I might have to do another car with police seam at some point. Revs so fast. I'm, this thing's warm, runs great still. Haven't started in like probably three months. Right, I'm gonna pull it back in the garage, turn it off, check over everything. It's nice having a drift car that actually works. And just like that, we're back inside. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but the radiator is like smoking because of that crack that I was talking about. So as soon as this thing's done appearance wise, I'm for sure gonna take care of that radiator, the power steering rack, and I think it needs one rear axle. Pretty stoked, carbon hood. I would shut it, but I really want that radiator to cool down. So anyway, this is my new carbon hood for my 370. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I didn't get hard mounted either. It's because I'm gonna go think about how I wanna do it. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, awesome burner. Peace out. Why do I make my drift cars this nice? I'm so dumb. Yep. This is all gonna get destroyed.